hello hello how is everyone so i have not been on here for about two weeks now and i apologize because the last video that i posted was like 10 o'clock in the morning the day that i was being induced and i did not post anything else that day um anyway so of course i've had the baby she was born september 25th at 7 49 p.m and she was eight pounds, seven ounces, 20 and a half inches long. Um, the actual labor sucked because if you've never been induced, you probably have no idea how terrible it is. Like for me anyways, like my body hates being induced. This is my fourth child, second time I've had to be induced. Um, it was shorter than the first one. The first one I was induced and that was 17 and a half hours. This one was 10 hours. Once they actually started the Pitocin and yeah, it was about 10, 10 and a half hours. Um, she was out in two pushes. So pushing part was easy. It was just the actual laboring part. Um, once they started the Pitocin and everything, they were upping it every 20 minutes. So my contractions were like super, super strong, but they came in to check me and I was not making any progress. Um, in fact, I was going backwards. I know that sounds weird, but that Monday I had my doctor's appointment. I was at a two and she could feel the head bouncing back up. And when they checked me at the hospital that Thursday, the 25th, I was at a one and baby girl was moving like back up instead of coming down. She was trying to go up and they were scared that I was going to have to end up having a C-section if she wouldn't start moving because my uterus was contracting and I was having the contractions, but she was running away like she did not want to come out. But um, let's see. So at around 1030, 1045, they started the Pitocin and then that's when they said I was at a one and then around two, um, the doctor came in and checked me. And I was at a two and she broke my water um, because she had to wait at least that time period because I was positive for the group strep B um, test that they do at the 36 week check. So I had to have the antibiotics going through my system. And so she broke my water and I think that's what actually started helping because then, you know, the water was broken. She really didn't have a choice but to come out after that. Um, but, yeah, I did not want an epidural um, at all. Like I had told my husband and my mom, the doctors, everyone, that I did not want an epidural. I mean, I wasn't completely against it to where if I asked for it, I did not tell them to tell me no. I just said my plan is to not have one. But if it comes to that, then it comes to that. You know, Sorry, y'all. Then it comes to that. Um so they broke my water and then I went from a two and then I, had, I was at a three around, what time was that? I was at a three around like 3.30ish maybe. And so, no, it was right before three because from three to four, the anesthesiologist was going to be in somebody else's room. I have no clue what they're having done, but it was going to take an hour. So he said from three to four. I can't get one and it was like 249 250 and I said you know I'm tired like the contractions were still strong and I was barely making any progress but it was like draining my body and I could feel my energy leaving me and I said you know when he gets done tell him to come on in give me the epidural whatever you know so I can get some rest before it's time to push because I'm thinking, you know, the labor is this terrible. Who knows how long I'll have to push to get her out. So, um, he came in about 4.15 and gave me the epidural. And I was able to rest from 4.15 until, I say, about 6. I was just sleeping. I was just sleeping through it. Um, my husband, you know, he was taking pictures of me and showed me afterwards. Like, I was knocked out. Um, I woke up about six, six, ten ish and they came in and checked me and I had gone from the three that I was at at like two forty nine, two fifty, and now I was at a six around six ten. So 
um, like, let's see, the nurse has left. I love my nurse. She left. She stayed until about 7.20 that night. Then they switched off. And at 7.09, she came in and checked me. I was at a eight and a half, almost nine. And, and then I was like, you know, I can feel everything. You know, it's not just pressure anymore. I can feel it. And so she was like, well, it's time for me to leave, yada, yada. So then she was like, you know, by the time we called the anesthesia, I was just in here. You'll been done have the baby by the time he gets down here. So I was like, okay, I'll just suck it up, squeeze my husband's hand or whatever, and be fine. So the new nurse came in and introduced herself at 7.25. Then at 7.35, I called her back in, and I was like, it's time to do this thing. So my doctor came in and she was like, yep, let's have a baby. She was like, yep, you're at a 10. Let's get ready. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, this baby has to come before 8 o'clock because Scandal premieres tonight and I want to watch Scandal. And my nurse was so funny. She was like, I know, me too. She was like, who are you telling? Let's hurry up and get this baby out so we can both watch Scandal. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. So by the time, you know, the doctor gets her gloves on and everybody gets their gloves on and whatnot, it is 7.40, no, I'm sorry, 7.42, and they put my legs up, and my dad leaves the room because he was in there the whole time I was laboring, so it's just my mom, me, my husband, the doctor, and my nurse. Well, you're supposed to have a catcher, which is what they call the person who takes the baby over and, you know, suck, start, finishes suctioning, does the testing of the baby, and weighs the baby, the catcher was not in there yet while they were having me do the practice push. And with the second push, like the first push, I felt her come down. And then they were like, we don't have a pusher. So they're pushing the nurse's button saying, hey, get a catcher in here, get a catcher in here. And I pushed the second time and out came her head. And the doctor had told me stop pushing because they were worried about her shoulders coming out because they, her um, shoulders were wider than what her head was and was measuring in the ultrasound so they were worried about you know possibly breaking her collarbone or having issues with me getting the shoulders out but those two pushes is all it took she literally just came right out like the doctor had to hold her until the catcher got there to put her on the little thing to measure her and all that good stuff so anywho yeah so that's my daughter that is the three-year-old and that's the five-year-old. Go play, girls. So, anywho. So, yeah. So, she was out in two pushes. She was born 749. And the doctor had me cleaned up. And the bed put back together all by 758. And I was like, you got two minutes to spare. Get you a drink of water. And sit back. and Go, Jemaya. Sit back and watch your scandal. And enjoy your baby. And feed her. So, that's what we did. Um... Anywho, so yes, she is here, and I would show you, but she is currently eating right now, and I'm all for breastfeeding. I'm pro-breastfeeding, which is what I'm doing, but my husband has asked me, you know, not to put my breast on social media, so out of respect for him, I will not show y'all right, her right now, but if you follow me on Instagram, um, you've seen tons of pictures of her already, so... If you're not following me, go ahead, check me out. It's at Ms. Lene89. It's at M-Z-L-A-N-E-E-8-9. -E and, um, goodbye. And, anywho, so as far as hair, I'm doing the Diva Debs um, six-month protective style challenge. And I just put these twists in. I took the jumbo twist out. This is all my hair. And as you can see, it looks crazy because I just finished it. So it's not laying any kind away right now. Um, it's slowly growing back from the tapered cut that I did. So, I'm excited about that. That's the back. And the side. Front side. You got the front. So, yeah, you see my roots, how much it's grown out since I actually colored it the red color. Anywho, you can hear my kiddos back there. They are going crazy. So, I just wanted to update y'all, let y'all know that she is here. We're doing well. Um, she's back to her birth weight because she had lost weight at the hospital. 
like most babies do, but she's back to her birth weight. She's doing good. Um, so everything's good. She's perfect. And she's almost, she only sleeps, or sorry, she only wakes up twice during the night. So that's been great. I'm not extremely, I mean, I'm still tired, but I'm not extremely tired. I'll do a separate video on how it is adjusting to having a fourth child. But anywho, I'm just rambling now. So until next time, be blessed. Bye-bye.